Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. It's our Broker Pains series with Marion Weiler from Weiler International and Yvonne Sandoval from Leverage 365. We get together every week and talk about the things we know are causing pains in your brokerage and for you as the broker or team leader or even our realtor partners. Uh, we're all feeling little pains here and there. The broker's got to try to figure out how to control so many things. Uh, and so we want to help you out every week with the expertise of Marion and Yvonne. Welcome, ladies. How are you today? Very Thanks, good. Thank you. Doing well. Thanks. I'm excited for this topic because I know, guys, you don't want to hear it out there, but 2022, if you can believe it, is right around the corner. Um, and so we want to talk about business planning for 2022, not just from a broker perspective, but engagement, um, realtor, team leaders, teams, anybody who's got anything going on in 2022, you want to make sure that you've got some sort of basic business plan uh, to get it rolling. So uh, we'll start with each of you, Yvonne, share a little bit about you and what you do, and then we'll dive right into it with what Marion does and talk about business plan. Oh, yes. I, I, well, I'm the owner of Leverage 365. I work with realtors as well as brokerages to help them stay top of mind with their database of contacts, as well as provide education to not only brokerages, but other companies that support agents and brokerages. So I'm here to help. Woo. Yes. And Marion Weiler, because I'm getting it right every day. I'm going to yes, practice. Yes, you are. Marion yeah. Weiler, how are you? And tell us a little bit about what Weiler International does. I work with brokerage leaders and executive teams to help them expand their brands and support the growth that they're looking for. And that both internally as well as externally, because we know that, you know, when we have agent or employee satisfaction, motivation, it carries outside. And of course, with our clients as well. Beautiful. And you all know what I do. Very simple. Loans. We do loans, but we're much more than that. We love our community and we love being a community partner uh, with so many people out there. So, but this is not about me. This is about business planning 2022 for 2022. Uh, it seems like 2021 went by real fast. I don't know about you guys, but I can't believe we're looking at 2022. For those brokers out there that have no idea what a business plan is, how to start, what to do, uh, let's give them a little basic information, Mary. And if you can give us some steps, let's talk about the importance of business planning and, of course, getting your agents engaged so that everybody's kind of on the same page. Yeah, it's business planning. When I bring up business planning, I often hear this, oh, no, not business planning. I don't have time for business planning or I don't even know where to start. And so a couple of things, maybe even to start off, it's business planning is something that's dynamic. It's uh, strategic and it's intentional. And we talked about intentional before, but I, I want you to look at business planning as something that it's not a piece of paper you write one time. It goes into, you know, whatever shelf you have or in your computer filing system. And then that's the end to that. It's, it's a document that will give you guidance as to what is working, what has worked, what do you need to, uh, what do you need to adjust? And then it's an integrated approach. And that's perhaps another, besides the fact that it's dynamic, a very, very important piece of the puzzle. Because when you're a brokerage, especially when you have multiple levels, you have multiple offices, your strategic plan folds in with the manager plan for the different offices and even trickles down to the agents um, business planning. So I always like to do business planning from a strategic point of let's sit down with the managers, regionals, if you have, and really identify what is needed, what is happening. And then all of that folds back up into the strategic plan for the overall brokerage. So Yvonne, you, thank you. You and I are sort of at the lower level of that because we do get involved. We do, we are part of, or should be part of a business plan um, with our broker and realtor referral partners and clients. Uh, I feel like we both uh, give back and we both try to figure out how to 
help them with their plan. But I'm going to guess you've run into the same thing as I have, which I'm sure Marion has too. Um, they don't even know where to start. They want to start with, I want to make more money. And then there is, there's no idea how to get there necessarily, but they want to fig- they want to figure out how to do that. So when you're meeting with them, I know you ask them what their plan is. How, do, how does that play out? Well, you have to remember a lot of brokers were once agents. Okay. And so they, they now have you know, grown themselves into a position where they're, they're, they, they have their own brokerage. So having a business plan is something that you need to do with an outside party generally. So if you, you can't just keep it internal, a company like Marion's would help you to come up with a strategic business plan that'll put you into the next year. Having someone to bounce these ideas off of, having someone whose insight um, is going to help you to come up with that, that business plan. And that goes and trickles down from the broker being able to provide that to their agents, um, helping them to develop a business plan that works on the level that they needed to work on. So you can't do this in a vacuum. That's a really important, the most important part of this, if you get anything out of today's show, is knowing that yes, you need a business plan, but you can't do it alone. It's not something you can just sit with a piece of paper yourself and come up with. You need outside um, help with that because you can't. no business is built by itself. And then you're also too close. You're too in, in, entrenched. And when you become too entrenched, you, you buy in to everything that you've been doing um, and you may not see the light at the end of the tunnel. So let others illuminate that way and give you the ability to see things in a different perspective. So bringing in outside help, such as Marion's company, um, or you, and utilizing the partners that will help you to grow your business, like uh, like Ted's company, VIP Mortgage Group, or myself, Leverage 365, bringing all of those partners to the table to help you build that business plan is essential. It, it really is. And so let's talk about engagement, Marion. I think a lot of let's we'll use brokers. Brokers will go, well, I'm the broker, so I'm going to write the plan out and everybody's just going to figure out how to make it work. Or I'm the broker. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this is where I want to be. And I have no I don't engage my realtors at all. And then they're looking at 2023 going, what just happened in 2022? Mm-hmm. So talk a little bit about engaging, because Yvonne's right. This is to me, this is not a one person show. This has to, you have to have other people. You have to have consultants. You have to have referral partners like Yvonne and I. You have to have somebody helping you because when you sit down to do it, it's going to be squirrel, shiny object. You're not going to write anything down on a piece of paper. And then even if you do, you're not going to have asked or polled anybody or surveyed anybody or said what's important to you so that you make the plan about the overall brokerage vision and you include your people in it. Talk about the importance of that. There are really two pieces to this, and I think it's a, it's a balancing act because when you are getting too much feedback from everybody in the field, whether that is managers, agents, and you're not, you're missing to clearly communicate a vision or draft a vision, you're running the risk that you're all over the place and you're again trying to make everybody happy and in the end you make nobody happy. So it's like truly having that vision, having a a clear understanding of your business, where your differentiation points are, who is your audience, what do you stand for as a brokerage? And so in a way you're staying on your path, you're not going left, right, oh, I see this competitor doing this, so oh, today I am all about X and tomorrow I'm all about Y, right? That's when you when you translate it, that's really what your strategic plan does. It gives you clarity, it gives you a roadmap, it keeps you on the track instead of like going left, right and everywhere. Now, having said that, if you come up with a strategic plan, a vision, a a roadmap, and it's absolutely not aligned with your offices, with the needs of the agents in those offices, the the clients, then you might as well not do a strategic plan because it won't be successful. And you trying to push it upon uh, independent contractors or even your managers in order to, to adopt and 
and engage their agents because let's face it, the managers are on the front line. They're the ones oftentimes engaging the agents, dep depending on how large you are of a brokerage, there's no way that you can do that on such a hand-holding level. So again, it's an integrated approach. It's a holistic approach. And that's where the help comes in. And to Yvonne's point, and uh, we're a bit biased here, but I've seen it over and over again, that your results, at the end of the day, you need to show the results. And with that external help, somebody that is not sitting inside the frame, but actually looks at it from the outside and can help and guide you, not only that has tremendous value in your results and how, how productive you are, uh, moving forward into next year, but also it allows you to focus on other things that perhaps I call it the CEO space. What is it that only you can do? Yes. And is it true? Is strategic planning really what you want to spend your time and energy on? Or is it more, I've seen many, many brokers that because they're coming from the sales ranks, they love being in the field. They love interacting and engaging with agents. And and you, to some extent, you should be in the field and seeing what's happening, not sitting behind a computer drafting up a strategic plan <laughs> all by yourself. My vision, I see it. I've seen right? them do it. So it's a balancing act. It's a, it's a, and that's where the advisory work comes in that I do, helping you guide, helping you like see see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, making sure we are covering the right things and then execution, execution, execution. I can tell you how often it stops with the plan. Nobody has an idea what's in this plan. There are no um, tactical steps there are no um, any kind of tracking, any kind of measurement. Are we on the right track? And that's where the dynamic comes in. Let's make sure we're putting that in place so we see, are we moving in the right direction? Absolutely. And if I'm listening to you and I'm thinking as a broker, because I have many broker friends, uh, I'm they're all freaking out going, I have no idea how to even begin, even though what Marion is saying and Yvonne saying is 100% on, I get it. I couldn't tell you the first thing to do. You're telling me not to get a piece of paper out, which she's right, guys. You have to think about this a little more in depth, uh, guys and gals. Uh, but I think that uh, the brokers are going, oh my God, she's right, but I have no idea what to do. Well, so if I'm not gonna bring out a piece of paper, go ahead, Yvonne. I think the first step is accepting the fact that you need help. I, think, I mean, yes. I, it, sounds like a, it sounds like a different kind of meeting, but you know yeah, what? It does. You have to stand up and say to yourself, you know what? I, I built a business. I did it. I did what I could do. But at some point, I need to hold myself accountable. And that really doesn't work. At this point, we need to, when you're at a certain level and a broker is at that level, because they're building a business and people are relying on them to keep that business running, you need to accept the fact that you need help. And when you accept that fact, now you, your first step is to seek help. That goes for anything in this, in this world. Seek help, find somebody that you feel comfortable with partnering with, and that could be, like I said, I mean, we're not here to just you know plug ourselves. We're here to talk about how to literally start Starting is by accepting that you need help. And then when you do that, you'll find someone, you'll gravitate to that person and you will find your next step. Let them walk with you shoulder to shoulder and see you through this. I know I did it for my business. I have a, um, have a consultant who helps me to grow my business. And if I had not accepted the help, I wouldn't have done what I've done this year, which is double my business. Um, so even myself, we all need a partner who keeps us accountable and helps us to see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, Marion, take us out. Tell us uh, some last words of wisdom, some nugget, nugget or nuggets that you want to leave them yeah. with today. See, when you look at it from that perspective where you um, – what would you say to your agents? I mean, there, there are clients that can, can they sell their homes themselves? Yes, of course, probably they could somehow, but you're having experts helping, helping doing that. 
and 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 you are paying money for that because you are selling your home at a higher price or the process is more seamless and it's in essence the same thing when you can truly grow your business you can get strategic about it and you have that help your business is going to improve and i think that's that's at the end of the day what we're all looking for we're not looking to necessarily save money but we're looking to reach our goals and and thrive as a business and so um that that's really where that help comes in on so many levels all right yvonne tell us how they can reach you learn more about you uh what's the best way Yes, leverage365.com. You can always call or text me, 407-915-8000. And Marion Weiler with Weiler International LLC. What's the best way for them to reach you? Reach out on my website, weilerinternational.com, or follow, connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm very active there. Love LinkedIn. You can find me, you guys know, anywhere or at VIP Mortgage Group. We're here to help you, brokers, realtors, team leaders. If you have questions, topics you want to discuss, just send them to me, send them to Yvonne or Marion, and we will get them on the show. This show is for you, about you, and we want to help you, and we want to make sure that you have a very successful 2022. Thank you, ladies. We'll be back next Wednesday at noon with Broker Pains. See you guys. Bye, everybody.